Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Sridham from Sri Learning. We are talking uh, success stories of people who complete PMP, ACP, Scaled Agile. And today I have Sachin in front of me. Is it Sachin Tendulkar? No, Sachin Joshi. So Sachin Joshi got certified at the PMP on the 20th of September. Excited, happy, celebrated. Huh? Party all happened. Did you do that? Party celebration? Um not really party but yeah i i, I happened to just go out um, the okay. first thing once i came back room it was like the loud shout that <laughs> <laughs> did it huh? kind yes, of yes, i yes, married yes. fantastic so great congratulations sachin for this great great achievement thank you here it is this is a certificate he got it i'm sure you'll be excited printed a copy and uh, he should yes, have went to websites of PMI to verify a couple of times. Is it my certificate? Is it everything clear? The spelling is correct. Date is correct. The signature is a valid signature. Sachin, you did all? <laughs> yeah, yeah, did everything. Uh, even just before this, even the uh, the certi the what to say, uh, the receipt what I get after the exam, I used to like just to digest the result i used to keep watching it every half an hour so that yeah i mean it's so it shows it is actually passed <laughs> <laughs> man <laughs> i like that i like that yeah six months <laughs> later it will be like oh come on that's too much but now <laughs> when when it is fun you have to enjoy that nothing no you know shy or nothing it's my effort and i should be happy who else will be happy than me isn't it <laughs> you have to celebrate it so what you did i did in my car when i complete my exam i was driving that time i was having an suv uh i think i passed a signal until then i was quiet after a signal the road was total free i was accelerating the vehicle i took the hands off my steering i started like, yeah I keep shouting <laughs> i'm sure somebody in the next car would have seen me what happened this guy <laughs> So anyone exactly. who cleared the exam will, yeah, man, I did it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm only the person who has cleared it. And in that moment, only that person knows what exactly the joy is. <laughs> exactly. You go and tell to anyone in the world, eh, come on, yeah, PMP, and not a big exam for that. <laughs> you will know the pain. Only you exactly. sit and read. <laughs> you take the exam for hours. You pay the 50,000 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So Sachin, give a little background. What, what, what are you and uh, why you thought of PMP? Okay, um, I am an industrial production engineering uh, uh, passed out, uh, BE in industrial production, and then got into automobile engineering as a design engineer. Then uh, after uh, like 10 plus of years of experience, then uh, uh, thought I should move further and um, instead of being in the depth uh, to see the horizon, uh, how uh, the organization looks. So getting to the horizon, I thought let's get into the project management. So uh, there was an internal opening and then I applied for it and uh, then I got into project management uh, in uh, Volvo. And um, then, yeah, uh, then after that, uh, the journey started to uh, seek uh, uh, the best in me. And um, uh, after a couple of years, uh, then I felt, yeah, I should do something that uh, to sharpen my skills, which I felt uh, need some more uh, fine tuning of the approach that I take uh, during um, execution of my projects. So uh, then, um, although I knew by the back of my mind that, yeah, uh, PMP is one that I have to perceive, but a bit hesitant. Uh, then uh, I uh, somehow made my mind and it was actually uh, July 20th, uh, July 10th, uh, when I decided that I have to do the PMP. And um, yeah, now September 30th, September 20th, I applied for it and then two months clear it. That's interesting. That's interesting. Good to know. Thanks for giving that background. Really like that. Uh, so now, yeah, PMP is interesting. You know that. Now, uh, the two things are there. One is, yes, we know it's interesting. Decision making of when to go, <laughs> one. And uh, decision making of, can I do this? Okay. These two things put many people in the back seat. Only a few That's come cool. to the forward. So did you, you two had the thought of, can I do this? Or is this the right time to do this? 
Absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, coming back to my personal uh, uh, situation, uh, me and my wife both work together and uh, my wife also has a hectic schedule. Uh, mm. She also works late night and uh, I do come from, I, I don't have a work from home option. I do work to, uh, I do go to office and uh, I, 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 we have two kids and the younger one is just two years. <laughs> God, so, man. Uh, so you have all the project management. Exactly. Constraints. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you know, I mean, what should be my situation when uh, somebody says that okay, you have to do a PMP now. Okay. Uh, so, but somehow I made my mind that I have to do it, and um, I used to. Uh, I still remember. I used to make my younger one sleep at, uh, and she used to sleep by eleven o'clock, and that's my undivided time from eleven to two. Um, that's that was my uh, study time. Eleven to two p.m. Exactly, eleven to two p.m. Two p.m. <laughs> two p.m. Thank 11. God, man. I was, I was a little scared. You said 11 to 2 a.m. in the night. You Sorry, 11? Oh, no, 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 no. 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Ah, see? Yeah, so yeah, my yeah. assumption is right. God's yeah. sake, man. You whole night you're awake. How many hours then you sleep before you go to um, office? Around four hours or five hours a day. Uh, uh, that's what was the schedule. I mean, routine when uh, I started uh, oh, pursuing the book. I mean, uh, started reading the book uh, from yeah. July 10th or 12th. Till really almost August 30th when I completed the book. Okay. Your neighbors don't complain about you? Always the light is on. This guy no, is bugging us. Husband, uh, we, uh, me and my wife both sits, uh, sit, sit in the same room. She used to work and I used to study. That's it. Um, uh, the kids were sleeping in the other room. <laughs> You're extreme level, man. <laughs> <laughs> but do you recommend people to read like that? Middle of the night, late night? See, um, you keep saying this always that uh, the, the major challenge that we have when we uh, take the or perceive this PMP as a certification is usually in the middle of your uh, journey of your career. When you end up having the situations like this and uh, no matter what you have to do, you have to find your time, uh, the undivided time that you can sit. And I know that I can't sit in the morning. I was pretty sure that yeah. uh, I would doze off. Uh, so I, that, that was my time, uh, uh, even with the left out energy that I had. Ah, uh, man, that's really, really inspiring to hear from you. That's nice. Nice to know. Good efforts. And at least now you're sleeping well. Don't say that now 11 to I'm, 2, I watch Netflix. No, no, no. no. I, I, I am blessed with sleeping. So I can sleep even in uh, in the market. So <laughs> <laughs> Good. You're blessed, really. Nice to know this uh, factor. Now, quickly on the exam factor, because many want to know what is an exam, then go for the studies. So mm -hmm. uh, what is it for your exam? Uh, was it, a, what is a bouncer box when you open it? A lot of bouncers or exam was at smooth travel um it was not smooth nor a, a, a box with some surprises not a pandora box for sure yeah but mm. it was a moderate uh, a situation or a moderate uh, scenario for me when uh, with the background that i had uh, with the mock tests uh, that i took and uh, with the uh, tips and tricks that you gave me before uh, getting in there uh, that really helped me but it was for sure not a pandora box it was like i knew what i was uh, what i'll okay. be exposed to uh, okay. it was a decent journey uh, the four hour journey that i had nice to know that gives confidence to the people listening this video uh, yeah. because uh, sometimes they should not get scared oh man that's not my exam okay so now it gives confidence nice to know so uh, another question keep asking people people keep asking is I read the question, uh, but some reason I couldn't choose the right choice. Uh, my brain is jumping between A, B, C. Uh, man, I couldn't. <clears throat> I'm sure you face this when you practice your questions. I don't get that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, that's that's the initial phase when you are exposed to the questions. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that happened to me uh, just after finishing my book. I uh, I should I don't recommend uh, the way I approached. Uh, appearing for the exam uh, I would say that uh, you know that well I completed the book and I didn't even uh, inform you nor Rahul I just went ahead booked the exam um, uh, since I had my date fixed uh, that you told me the uh, any very initial day that you have to have a date in your mind I had my date uh, uh, with that thought I said that okay 20th should be the good date and I just went ahead booked the 20th date Okay. <laughs> I also had my agreement in my office that, okay, I will take some steady holidays uh, just 10 days before okay. that's T minus 10. Uh, from September 10th, I'll be off. That was the commitment that I had in office as well. Uh, with that a gut feeling, I just booked it uh, without even taking a mock. 
<laughs> and uh, and also after 10th uh, after booking the date uh, from from september 1 to 10 i was just leisurely going through the book since i had finished the book uh, I, i was just running through not even uh, going back to the questions which was at the end of the chapters no i was just brushing the uh concepts uh, mm -hmm. uh which which i would say are the abcs that's it uh it was it's it, it isn't that i let you know what exactly is the word it's just the abcs uh read through and uh okay then i um i since i said that i have kids at home i that was not the right place to study uh okay. so i had secured a very calm and quiet place uh one of my relatives house uh it was uh completely empty i mm -hmm. went there uh, on the 11th of september i took first mock and uh i got nine days before of, yeah exactly the first mock and uh, it was around uh, 54 which i got uh, as that uh, first mock uh, uh, result mm. then uh, even then i didn't contact you <laughs> i uh, just uh, pinged uh, uh, rahul said that this is my first thing what i should do and said no no this is the and how did you book the exam even before uh, having this mock uh, done you should at least have 70 and then with that confidence we would say that okay that's the right the score to go ahead then i said no i have done it already then said uh, very well then you have done it uh, there is always an option to have uh, rescheduled just before two days so uh, <laughs> so uh, you can think about it when you uh, when you will not be able to do that with, with another mock uh, maybe after uh, 17th we can decide on it then i was not happy of that and i said i'll do the gap analysis right away and yeah. take the second mock i did the second mock on 12th mm. back to back i scored 52 2% less than the one i scored God, first man that's a shocker huh? <laughs> i was really down with moral i called you up you said never take box back to back um <laughs> and do a thorough mock analysis then uh, something i don't know some enlightenment came to me i said that okay now uh, the the real way to do the more gap analysis is not this way Hmm. uh be it a right answer or be it a wrong answer i went through all 180 questions and mm -hmm. uh, not just the answers that gave me i went through uh, uh how to say the uh, the process uh, uh, what it was in and also the knowledge area which which uh, that was wrong or right i went yeah. back to the uh, rita mulke and then read through it line by line uh, and hmm. um uh you don't believe me i almost studied uh, 15 to 16 hours uh, for that four days uh oh. that that was like a torture track to me <laughs> yeah man that's not a, yeah, that's not a really easy one mm. okay understand yeah. well, how was it last four five days i would say uh, it was a torture track though but after that four five days it gave me a real good confidence that uh, mm. yes i can do and i took one more exam mock test the third one on uh, 16th mm. uh, and i had that i wanted to keep that biological clock as well uh, ticking that uh, my exam was basically on 8 to 12 so i uh, usually take i used to take that mocks on the same time 8 to 12 um, mm. so i took the third mock on uh, 16th and uh, i scored 62 or 63 somewhere there um improvement there <laughs> <laughs> so then i pinged you saying that uh, this is what it is then i said uh, good that you it seems that you have done a very good uh, gap analysis and uh, good going uh, uh, keep taking this then um, uh, then i said uh, i think uh, then i guess uh, you are not aware that my exams was on 20th then i said i have my exam on 20th sridam then oh, oh my god then you said um uh, what what is your confidence level then i said like i am confident with the exam that i have took uh, recently it's 62 of course but uh, when i went through the uh, answers i thought i could have still more done and it could have been 65 66 show so then uh, forget about that are you confident i said yeah i am confident i think i should go with this and i have no uh, plans to reschedule uh, or something then you said uh, stop taking the mocks uh and you gave me certain key uh, knowledge areas to focus on and uh, focus on the uh, people uh, uh, domain and then uh, uh, take as much as uh, questions uh, and i also have to say this i had a very bad experience in terms of uh, time management with mm -hmm. the mocks as well so uh, that was also uh, bothering me back of my mind that uh, how to improve that uh, but trust me uh, uh, 
you don't have to have the complete uh, 180 questions or uh, to, to get to challenge your time uh, management even that quiz which uh, is of 10 uh, 10 marks uh, 10 question yeah. quizzes also yeah. if it is 15 minutes try to finish it in 8 to 10 minutes that will also improve your uh, time manage that that's what happened to me as well I, I i started doing that i started taking random questions random quizzes of 10 uh, 10 questions uh, quizzes and yeah. uh, i used to finish finish the things i for initially by 13 14 minutes which initially uh, later on it came down to up to uh, say 8 to 10 minutes uh, uh, for 10 questions uh, that mm -hmm. uh, that way i built it up that uh, uh, that's fine. point as well to make sure that I finish uh, I, the time management part was uh, also covered there uh, taking that random yeah, questions yeah yep that's a good uh, gut feel from you to take this exam because uh, I generally recommend people take at least five full exams have 15 days with you each exam I have two two days gap these all I keep telling but still <laughs> Uh, Sachin uh, came in and said last minute hey, there is exam man what to do what well, to do I, no. even I would not suggest it I would not suggest to I mean it's it's it's, uh, it's not worth I mean it's worth it of course that you get uh, ultimately you come out with the flying colors but again uh, the amount of pressure the amount of strain the roller coaster that you uh, go through yeah. it, it's really a mind game uh, that to me for that four days I ha I was completely disconnected from my family not even a single call uh, and completely involved in reading the book i don't yeah. know how much people can do it that happened. I was, it's good it happened yeah, it uh, so you did it because uh i found you you are pretty confident the day one week before i think i spoke or chat with you you said anyhow i'm going uh, then it's something like uh your daughter or son getting married anyhow i'll marry this guy what to do okay get married <laughs> you can't stop it <laughs> So I said, okay, you are ready. So now what to do next? <laughs> is it registered marriage or marriage in the hall? Registered marriage. Okay, let's work it out. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I found is no point for you to taking full exam because we are really close. Only two, three days we had. Three mm -hmm. days full exam doesn't make sense at all. Now, only thing you have to increase your confidence level by knowledge and you should know how to answer a question. So I think you really put that effort. When I said about certain topics to answer the questions, you came up really well. That four or five days, the effort which you took, it boosted you. If you would have went with a confidence of 52% to the main exam, <clears throat> it's not about the exam toughness. This back of your mind will kill you. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> really, really appreciate the effort, what you take. Really good. But as you suggested also, it's not a good thing. Sometimes no, it no, increases unwanted blood pressure. <laughs> Yeah, I have an uh, example like how you should not take your exams. <laughs> I have people who have done this like this, but uh, uh, but sometimes it gets surprised for me. Last one week I come to know, hey, next week is exam, Shiram. I didn't take any exam. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> On top of that, last line they will tell that any class I'll take the exam. It's something like your son saying any class I'll marry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what to do now? <laughs> Let's work it out. <laughs> All right, good, good to hear this. Um, but one thing I found with you is um, I think some of the core basics you are clear you are. Either you read the books or maybe your work nature in your office. Somewhere you are connected on the topic. If not, uh, you cannot catch up in the last five days so fast. Many people yeah. try in the last five days still they can't scale up. Yeah, I mean, uh, my work profile also helped me a lot there because I, uh, I do uh, deliver projects uh, from the beginning uh, to the closure. Uh, as a project manager so uh, although you don't follow the entire uh, uh, pmi guidelines that you follow but of course you know the, the process are pretty much the same so you know what exactly is to when do you do the purchasing and when yeah. do you do the uh, uh, time scheduling activities everything is there uh, so that was there i just had to you know uh, connect the dots, dots, of... the dots nice to know good to know good to know super good so uh, i'm sure you want to give credit to your uh, wife and uh Anyone else in the family want to tell that? Um, other people? First, first thing is to you, Shriram. Uh, to be honest, I uh, the, those last tips which you gave me really helped me a lot uh, to uh, cover up uh, uh, the get the the gap that I had in my uh, uh, knowledge. That really helped me a lot, and it was really a game changer when I took the exam. Uh, it I could I could sense that. Uh, the last minute uh, uh, quizzes that I took really helped me uh, during my uh, exams. 
And um, uh, when it comes to credit, of course, uh, uh, my wife, uh, my kids, who uh, really took the pain to uh, stay away from me, <laughs> I was completely detached, uh, uh, at least for 10, 15 days. And uh, my mother came to me here uh, to support me uh, for that case. Since wow. uh, uh, even, yeah. Uh, and also... You had all your, uh, you had all your key stakeholders close, close to you, supporting you. <laughs> Uh, true, true, true. And my manager as well. I mean, he helped me. I mean, I, he was the first person to say that, okay, you should uh, take this. That's how right. that worm in my brain came and that, yeah, the, right. now, now, it's, now it's time. I need to take it. Very rarely we see managers say this. Huh? <laughs> so you have a leader, not a manager. <laughs> yeah, he's a leader. Yeah, that's a good, good thing to know. Nice to know. So uh, now if you want to give some tips to people, I'm sure you will tell don't rush like me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> From a preparation point of view, uh, what could be your suggestions? A couple of points if you want to share. Okay. Uh, my suggestion is uh, never go uh, uh, with your gut feeling that you have read the book and then you will be able to answer. The questions are totally different than what you have in the book. The book only gives you the ABCs of your uh, the language, the words you have to construct on your own. So uh, that way, uh, you have to have that uh, mocks taken, the, the questions which are at the back, and even the tips which are being given in the Rita, the Rita, the tips for the exam. Everything matters. Everything in that book matters. Not even a single line has to be left. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I would say. And uh, uh, keep taking the mocks. And uh, even I would say, uh, I, what I used to do is when I used to go to office, I used to uh, put the podcast on about uh, PMP and I used to keep listening about... Uh, the input uh, tools and techniques and outputs of the uh, PIMBOK and uh, on any uh, knowledge area and I used to just drive. It should keep bombarding your brain about all these things, the wordings, the things, you should be immersed in it. Nice. Uh, that's uh, pretty much important as well. Mm, I like the suggestion. I like this way, while traveling you listen, that's important because I did it, uh, but not for PMP, I did for some of the learnings I used to travel 1.5 hours, three hours at least I'll be on the road. <clears throat> Hardly it'll be 40 the kilometers traffic, up and down. You know the situation of the Bangalore yeah, traffic. We, we'll be always on the road with the steering like this. But what I did is uh, I played certain videos which I want to listen for my learning purpose. So I uh, started enjoying the travel. So when mm -hmm. the whole traffic was shouting, I'm happy listening some whole book content in a half an hour, one hour. So that learning made a lot of difference. Yeah, when I when you say that, I'm recalling it. Mm, okay, good. Uh, good to know. So now uh, it's about the reading factor. And the question, one thing people are asking, is this question lengthy? Did you found uh, it was so much time-consuming questions? Did you feel like that in the main exam? Uh, although I used to listen to the podcast, but I am not a good reader, to be honest. Um, but I get, if I, and uh, unfortunately, even in the exam, I had many lengthy questions. Oh. I don't know if the question pat I, question pattern has somebody to get an easy questions and but I also had uh, uh, query some people who had cleared the exam they said uh, question papers are pretty easy you don't uh, have fun usually uh, three out of uh, ten questions or two out of ten questions will be lengthy so I was uh. in that mindset and I was like okay I can manage it although the box uh, was pretty much uh, simulating the similar uh, what I got in exam in terms of the lengthiness of the question. But uh, mm. people said that, no, you don't get that length. The mocks are pretty difficult. Uh, so I wasn't that mindset, but no, uh, the exam uh, was showing something else. I mean, I had many <laughs> lengthy questions. Okay. And uh, that's how that's how I struggled. And uh, the first question, the first set of 60 questions I covered in, um, say, uh, 90 minutes. And the second set was uh, almost 80 to 85 minutes. I was left with 45 minutes or 50 minutes for the uh, remaining 60 last questions. 60 questions. And uh, uh, the last five minutes was like, see the answer ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them do this. By the way, when you come to the last question, uh, are you confident that you're going to get certified? Uh, Yes, uh, at least I would say uh, in, uh, when I come, not the last questions for sure, because the last 10 questions were completely based on the answers, but uh, uh, through the journey, through the journey, the answers, what I made, I felt that, um, yes, I am doing in a right way uh, to some extent uh, at the, I mean, in the subconscious level, I had that in uh, thought that, okay, I am uh, doing it. Uh, whatever I have read is uh, giving the fruits. I mean, uh, somewhere I'm trying to connect the mocks that right. I had did. And even the gap analysis really helped me. 
uh, yeah, I used to, I, I could correct that uh, during the exam nice. as well. Nice, nice to you know. So when you saw the results, uh, um, there are some people when they see the result, they won't read it. They call someone in which letter, can you please read for me? Tell me same, what is it? Same. I, you it really? happened to be the same as well. God, man. <laughs> it happened. I said there was a sentence written. It was. It says uh, successfully completed uh, the exam or something. And then I just raised my hand. The invigilator came. What does this mean? <laughs> I said, uh, you're faster. You just can come out. Wow, okay, then I came. I'm sure you made a big sound. Yeah, <laughs> Internally, of course. I mean, the, yeah, you had many other people there. <laughs> <laughs> nice no, good to know good to know super Sachin thanks a lot for coming up here and giving this as access points uh, even though you say it is a tough journey the last one week but really don't appreciate your determination you didn't give up uh, I think in leadership that's a very important factor everything doesn't go exactly by plan sometime you have to work it out in a quick fashion to fix it but still what you said is a valuable point don't put high pressure like this some can sustain the pressure, some cannot sustain the pressure. So don't take such a pressure. You have some time for yourself for the exam. That's a point. So we learned about your reading habits. We learned about the exam taking pattern. We understood about how the exam look like. So um, that's valuable inputs. Also tips wise, I think you said about um, focus on gap analysis. That's very important. And keep listening, immerse into the subject. That's I think very valuable point. Super good. Anything more tips, final tips for the people? listening to the video i would say don't procrastinate just go ahead book do your it. slot of course uh, follow the pattern complete your mocks and then do it but don't <laughs> don't push the things i mean it doesn't make sense i mean uh, pmp is something that if you are uh, good into your good into your fundamentals and basics it's not that bad to crack uh, it's yeah. it's it, it can be, it's it's doable That's right. it's doable That's right. but the circumstances that you are in uh, makes it more difficult uh, with the commitments that you ha also have with you. Uh, so, nice. but it's doable. Uh, you have to be focused and determined. That's it. That's a valuable suggestion. Super. Thanks a lot, Sachin. Have a great time and uh, keep winning more in your career. Good wishes. Thank you.